Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to super clean your windshield. I'll be demonstrating this on my 1996 Chevy Corvette. Glass is the second largest surface on your car right after the paint, so for car shows, having the glass perfectly clean is essential for bringing home the trophies. And don't think that super cleaning a windshield is just for a show car like the Corvette. I do this on my daily driver truck. I just did this on this windshield and it looks awesome. You're driving your car or truck every day, and the thing you look at the most is right out of the windshield. So you don't want any dirt on there that distracts you from driving, or it strains your eyes. I don't know about you, but I hate when there's stuff on the windshield right in front of my field of view. It just drives me crazy. Plus, today I have a pretty nice day, but what happens when it's raining or when it's snowing? It's nice to know that your windshield will beat up water, prevent ice from sticking, prevent bug splatters from sticking, and also be nice and clear for at night, so you minimize any reflections. The most important thing is that you can see clearly out of your windshield for safety and for comfort. Now there's a million different glass cleaners on the market. Pick your favorite one that you like to use. I prefer one that doesn't have harsh chemicals, such as ammonia, and I also prefer one that does not leave any streaks or residue. My windshield is pretty dirty for my vet. You can see the mark right there, and another right there, and the whole window is covered by bug splatters and road debris. So some people like using paper towels or a bundled up piece of newspaper to clean their windshield. I prefer using a microfiber towel. You won't scratch your windshield with this. It absorbs water really well. It leaves no residue, it leaves no fuzz, and it picks up dirt really well. So the first step's gonna be to clean off your windshield with a microfiber cloth and your favorite glass cleaner. Make sure you're working in the shade and do half the glass at a time. If you spray the whole windshield with the cleaner, half of it might evaporate by the time you get to the other side and that'll just make a bigger mess. When wiping the windshield, use random circular motions and change the direction of the towel. This will allow the glass to be scrubbed in different directions and remove the most dirt possible. And don't forget to get into the corners along the edges of the windshield with your towel. So our white towel is now black with dirt. And that's really good. We got a lot of the dirt off. Now we're going to move to the next step. The next step is going to be using a piece of clay bar. I have this clay bar kit here. Normally you use this on your paint. You just break a little piece off. Then you get your water bottle. I fill this water bottle up with warm water. The warmer the water, the better. Warm water breaks down and dissolves dirt better than cold water. You want a good amount of water because this will help the clay slide along the windshield and you can't use too much water. You want to move the clay bar in an up and down motion and then a circular motion to clean in all different angles. This will pull up any contaminants that are really stuck on the glass and it will also clean up anything that didn't get cleaned up with your glass cleaner. And if the clay kind of gets hung up and it's kind of hard to move, focus in that area because there's contaminants there and get it nice and clean and then it should slide nice and smooth after that. Instead of clay barring, some people use steel wool or a straight razor and scrape the glass and I do not do that at all. I don't want to scratch the glass. There's almost no chance of me scratching the glass with just a piece of clay bar. Here's the clay bar after cleaning the windshield with it. You can see all the dirt that didn't get cleaned up by the glass cleaner got pulled up by the clay bar. And we also loosened up a bunch of contaminants on the glass here. So we're going to clean it one more time with our glass cleaner. And after we went over it one more time, that clay bar loosened up a bunch more dirt so we were able to clean this windshield even more and it's looking great. Now I'm going to go dry the windshield with a really absorbent microfiber cloth. This cloth will also not leave any lint, which is helpful. You don't want to leave any lint at this stage. Now this windshield is looking awesome. Already there's a nice shine to it and we're not even done yet. Now this last step is really what gives your windshield that extra something, and it's using regular car wax. So any carnauba or synthetic paste wax that you use on your car's paint, you're going to use on the windshield. And waxing the windshield will put a protective layer that beads up water better than Rain-X, and it'll also prevent bird poop and bug splatters from sticking to the windshield. So all you need to do is get a damp paper towel and clean it right off. Also the wax prevents ice buildup, so for those cold mornings you don't need to scrape the ice off the glass, which is awesome. You could use Rain-X if you want, but I find that wax lasts the longest. This will last me from four to six months where the water will beat up and bugs and stuff will come off with just one wipe of the towel. All you have to do is get your wax. You want to apply it in a circular motion. This isn't like waxing the paint on your car. Don't worry about swirl marks or anything. You don't need thick layers. You just want to coat the surface of the glass. The glass is really smooth right now because you clay barred it. So you're not going to have to use that much wax at all. You want to apply moderate pressure. I'd say about five pounds of pressure. So now I'm going to coat the whole windshield.
So we want to take a look at the windshield to make sure we have full wax coverage. We don't want any bare spots with no wax, but as you can see this looks really good. Now we'll wait around 5 minutes until the wax is dried enough to buff it off, and I'll show you how to test the wax to see if it's ready to be buffed. After about 5 minutes, let's test the wax and see if it's ready to get buffed off. You just take your finger and run it along the wax. You can see my finger left behind a smudge and that's not completely clear so the wax isn't ready to get buffed. You want there to be no smudge, and you want the glass underneath your finger to be completely clear after you rub it. So after a few minutes, let's test the wax again. You can see that there's no smudge and it's clear underneath, and also the wax kind of builds up at one end when you push it, and that's exactly what you want. So this is ready to get buffed off. Get a clean microfiber towel, and let's buff off as much wax as we can. Try using circular motions because that will remove the most wax. Make sure you pay attention to details and get the wax off of all the black pieces and all the trim. Any wax on this black trim is going to turn white and any wax that's kind of hidden under here is going to turn white and it will be really obvious. So you want to make sure you get that out. So we finished our first buff with this microfiber towel. Now I'm going to change towels. I'm going to use a finishing towel here and this towel is going to be used for that final buff and we're going to do circular motions first and then up and down for the finish. Again, the circular motions allow you to buff the windshield from different directions, which provides the best results. And then do a final vertical buff, just moving the towel up and down. Make sure you don't touch the glass by mistake, because the oils from your hands will get on the glass and you'll notice it. And we are done. That's how you super clean your windshield. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Also remember to leave a comment below if you have a different method you use to clean the windshield. I'd love to hear it. Just as some proof to show you how well this wax layer protects the windshield, check out how even just a little bit of water beads up and rolls right off. Now let's get serious and simulate a rainstorm. You can see even in a heavy rain, most of the water falls right off the windshield, which is great for visibility. The top tip for this video is you always want to make sure that you clean your wiper blades off because all that hard work you just did to clean the whole windshield will get put to waste once you use your wiper blades and just spread all that dirt all over the place. Spray the glass cleaner on the towel and just pull the wiper blade up and you're just going to take the towel and run it along the whole wiper blade. Many people say use alcohol but alcohol could dry out the rubber on the wiper blade and then that could cause it to scratch your windshield so I just use a glass cleaner that's good on rubber. Make sure you do the other wiper blade as well. And you can see with both wiper blades that we got a lot of dirt off. And that'll just keep the whole windshield from getting dirty again when you use your wiper blades.